Yo, what's going on guys? This is Burn again. And now that we got the first bits of our server set up, let's go ahead and start on the front end. So let me just say this, we're not completely done with the server yet. This is just the basics. We're gonna come back at a later time and complete it. So similar to using NPM for server side package management, we're gonna use Bower for client side management. So what I want you to do is NPM install slash G for global Bower and go ahead and let that install. So now that that's installed, let's go ahead and initialize it. So Bower init. And we'll go ahead and follow the prompts here. So name, um, we're gonna do Brent Arelli Portfolio, version 0.0.1, description brentarelli.com portfolio, if I can spell. Uh, main file, we really don't have a main file. We're gonna expose node modules, or actually we don't really are gonna expose anything. We don't need keywords, author is good, license MIT is good, Brentarelli, G, or www.brentarelli.com is my home page. Um, currently installed components as dependencies? Uh, no, because we don't have any currently installed, um, and we don't need to ignore any files, um, and we don't want to mark this package as private. So. Uh, let's go ahead and that looks good. Check out this bower.json file. Everything looks good. So now we can install our packages by typing in bower install angular and save that to our bower file and let that one install. And then we're going to need bootstrap. So bower install bootstrap slash slash save that. And let that one install. So one of the things that Bower does that I really hate is it brings in all these files that we're never going to really use. Uh, jQuery, I mean, of course, we're going to use jQuery, but not all the source files and stuff like that. All we're really interested in is this jQuery.js file. So there's a package called uh, Bower Installer that we're going to install. So we're going to do npm install Bower Installer. And actually, we're going to globally install that, slash g Bower installer and let that install so now what we can do is actually below our dependencies here we can create a, a new area called install and then inside install we can set a path to where we actually want to install all of our libraries and so I'm going to just set this path to client um, libs and we'll go ahead and save that so now check this out. Bower, oops, Bower installer. Once this is done installing, uh, if we go to client uh, in libraries, now you can see all the things that uh, Angular installer did for us was remove all the extra files. So all we have is the angular.js file. That's all we need. Um, bootstrap, of course, we have the CSS file, the JSS file, and some icon files. In jQuery, all we have is the jQuery.js file. So we can go ahead and delete this bower.components file and get rid of all that crap. So one of the things we didn't do in our server is tell the server where we're gonna be serving our static files from. Now static files that I'm talking about are like our JS files, our CSS files, our images and stuff like that. So let's go back here and we'll do app.use um, and it's express.static. And then inside here, we can do our path.resolve. And we can say it's going to be in the folder with our directory name slash client. And save that. So now that that's all set up, we can actually code our first page. But for the sake of keeping this video short, we're just going to go ahead and use the boilerplate code for Bootstrap, like their little uh, demo page. So we're going to go ahead and go here grab the source from bootstrap.com slash examples. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, select all and copy that and paste it into our index.js file. Now, like I said, um, we're going to change our routes here or rather where it's pointing to. Um, we need the bootstrap.css file. So it's going to be located in our li libs um, bootstrap slash bootstrap dot CSS save that and then let's refresh our page here and there we have it we have a little bit of a, a bootstrapped uh, web page 
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In future tutorials, we're going to be customizing this HTML to suit our own needs and adding AngularJS for a whole variety of different reasons. So uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everyone, and I'll catch you guys next time.